Awesome. And what about like three markers, four markers? What was the trick there? And were you someone who often went over the lines provided or did you find you were always trying to keep it within the lines? I have pretty big, big handwriting. So I found that like going over the lines was a bit, it wasn't necessarily a problem, I would say, but it was kind of more like it was Inevitable. a bit of an, yeah, absolutely. Right. So um, I definitely recommend like if you want to go more in depth, like absolutely feel free to do so. And if you are like when you are in the exam, like feel free to ask for extra booklets. Like it's definitely good if you want to kind of go more in depth or discuss it more in depth. I mean, yeah, it sounds like we've had other students say that they were actually told to kind of go over the over the lines to make their responses sound longer. Admittedly, that wasn't necessarily in this particular subject, but I think some people get told not to go over the lines, but it's not like, I just wanted to hear it because it will reassure people that going over and using other space is okay. And, and I suppose we just qualify that by like, don't write everything you know on the topic just because you want to show that off, right? Like if yeah. it's three marks, is it, would you say it's like for making three points on the thing or it just depends on the type of question? I think it depends on the type of question, but definitely for many of the questions, like you can be given, like giving three points, like a mark, like a point per mark kind mm -hmm. of. Um, we were told the guideline of around like three to four lines per mark. Mm -hmm. I don't know whether that applies for every single question, but okay. I found for like quite a few of the questions we were asked, it kind of helped as well for just to offer like explanations.